In this video, I'd like to present a method that allows you to algebraically determine how to change the area element from one set of variables to the area element of another set of variables, or the volume element from one set of variables to the volume element of another. To do this, we use a quantity called the Jacobian, denoted either by J, or by writing out the, your initial variables relative to the new variables that you want to change into. And this is defined as the matrix of partial derivatives. So in the top left, it's going to be a partial derivative of x with respect to the corresponding variable s. And this matrix element, it's the partial derivative of x with respect to the other variable t. The element over here is the partial derivative of y with respect to the variable s. And finally, the partial derivative of y with respect to the corresponding variable in your new coordinate system. Then, if you have a certain uh, infinitesimal area element in your in initial system of coordinates x, y, then you can find the corresponding area element in the system of coordinates s, t by finding the determinant of the Jacobian multiplied by the infinitesimal uh, site lengths in your new variable system, so ds and dt. There's a variety of ways that you'll find this written out can also have the determinant written out like this, or simply the determinant of the Jacobian, like that. Likewise, the volume element will be given by the determinant of the corresponding Jacobian times the infinitesimals of each one of the variables you're changing into R, S, and T in this example. All right. As an example, we're going to show how to change the coordinates uh, between Cartesian coordinates and the cylindrical coordinate system uh, using the Jacobian rather than geometrically as we did before. So the determinant of the Jacobian will have the following derivatives. So the partial derivative of each one of your variables in Cartesian coordinates with respect to the radius in cylindrical coordinates. The partial derivative of each Cartesian coordinate with respect to your polar angle. And finally, the partial derivative of each one of your Cartesian coordinates with respect to the set variable in cylindrical coordinates. And if you were to calculate each one of these and take the determinant, you will find the volume element that we showed before. So R dr times d theta dz.
uh, this would just be R. So then dv would be given by the determinant of the Jacobian times dr d theta d set. So this would be the volume element in cylindrical coordinates, which agrees with what we found before. Finally, I'll just say that this works in general for any change of variables. So if you want to, if you have an integral in one set of variables, u, v, w, then you can transform this into an integral in a new set of variables, r, s, t, by taking, by finding the corresponding Jacobian for this change of variables. So the determinant of the Jacobian times R, yes, dt. We won't really use this in this course very much outside of transforming between different coordinate systems, but just for your general knowledge, you can sometimes do this to simplify certain integrals. 